Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is John. I'm Jaren. That's my partner. Um, so uh, here in NetLogo, this is uh, a tutorial on how to use the Turtle Shapes Editor. So for here in our GUI, we have a person, green. Here in the code, shape, person, turtle, uh, green, color green. So how to open um, Turtle Shapes Editor, you got to go on Tools in the upper left-hand corner and click Turtle Shapes Editor. So you're presented with a lot of shapes here, any shapes, and if you don't like any of these shapes, just you could import from the library, which is presented with a whole much more shapes, a lot of shapes, a lot of possibilities. You can also go import from the model, which means that you can import a shape that you made in a previous program. Yes. So um, when you click New, uh, just opens a blank slate in which you could create your own shapes freely. But for now, we're just gonna um, edit our person right here. So uh, click person and duplicate. This is so we don't um, disrupt the original shape. Yeah. So um, here's a person. Uh, right here is the selector tool, which you could uh, hold these and move them freely. These, this thing creates lines, and these things create shapes right here. These are solid shapes, solid colors, and um, like box shapes for these ones. So um, when you create a shape like this, you uh, could snap the grid in which it snaps onto the background grid. And when you uh, deselect it, it moves freely. So without the grid, restricting from the grid. So just delete that. Um, so uh, my friend will go over the colors later on. So for when you create a shape, uh, here's the delete button, delete it. Um, and then undo button, just undoes it. And when you select it, duplicate, just simply duplicates it. So let's delete those. So for now, um, let's just create a basketball for our basketball player that we're making. So I made this kind of big, so select these rectangle, one of these rectangles and then hold and drag. And you could change the size. So these, this seems like a decent shape. So we're finished with our basketball player. Um, let's rename it um, to a basketball player or whenever, whatever name you want it, your shape to be or whatever you name your shape uh, and click OK and it shows up right here. Right. So exit that out and then go to uh, code and rename your shape. Basketball player or whatever name you put and click setup and here he's presented with the basketball. So now my partner will go over the colors. Okay, so assign to assign colors on a person, you're gonna go back to your, oh, Sorry about that. You're going to go back to your turtle shape editor and you're going to click on the person, that the shape that you want it and press edit. So let's, sorry, the computer's really laggy. Um, so let's make, all you need to do is just click the colors from here and then put it on here. Then when it says the color that changes, that means that um, whatever color is gray, for example, um, will be your assigned color on the code which is green that we chose. And um, if not, it'll be random. So let's make the ball green, I mean, I mean <laughs> orange, and let's make the body um, green. And I mean, let's make it body yellow. And let's make the head brown. We're just gonna assume. We'll just leave these so you can, sh see, so you can see um, how to put it back, I guess. And then we're gonna send these to the back. Yeah, and then um, this just is self-explanatory, <laughs> and yeah, and okay, that's pretty much it. See, you have your person right here with the assigned color. This is your um, assigned color, and this is the ones that you already gave, and that's pretty much it. Right, John? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so that is a quick tutorial on how to use the Turtle Shape Editor. Thanks for watching.